Welcome back to the good old loop hero. We're picking up right where we left off. So let's just unpause and rock and roll here. Uh, of note, check out all of our storm temples. Lining some of our more dangerous zones. We saw it just strike there. That's perfect. There's a lot going on now. Things are pretty intense. Uh, in a good way. Oh, so, okay. This is something I should really think about. If I'm not, if I'm not going to put... Uh, like this, this storm temple, for example, if I'm not going to put this on a spot that hits up and like horizontal and vertical, like this one's only hitting horizontal, I should place it as far out of the map as possible. If I'm doing something here, which can hit both, then this placement is obviously important. But the reason that this is annoying now is because I could chrono crystal here and then build my L off that, but this is blocking a tile, so just something i'll have to think about in the future um let's spawn more skeletons here let's see how that goes i'm gonna get rid of this goblin camp now and can i afford to put in another cemetery it's going pretty good yeah let's do it i don't know if i have any wheat fields in my uh in my deck I don't recall. I might have them out from when I did the uh, farming run. I was kind of experimenting with them. I haven't seen one drop yet, so... It seems like we might not have it. Uh, we can activate this one here. And fights seem to be going well, so I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna take that as a good sign. I don't think I want to vampire village this rat wolf area because once they start scaling up in the amount of rat wolves, it can get pretty overwhelming pretty quickly. Okay. As a reminder too for traits, we've got days going faster and now after my hero receives direct damage, all of the skeletons have a 15% chance to immediately perform a counterattack. You might see like a bunch of extra attacks swinging around there and stuff. And that would be why. Uh, I have another village. You know what? I'm going to place it here. This is going to spawn in a uh, bandit camp, which is okay for now. We can oblivion that next time. Uh, I'm not simmering anything with road lanterns yet. I just am really trying to push this class and see what's possible. Uh, we're actually more than halfway to the boss. And I imagine this class against the boss is pretty good because you're getting a lot more attacks in uh, to get rid of those mirrors, which I think is the key. Um, if we can have a faster attack speed versus that, it seems pretty good. More magic HP, but we lose a skeleton. The other thing to be thinking about is like... It seems like the magic HP is always topped up. And the only stuff we regen is our base HP, see? So, for this class, like, maybe villages aren't that useful? Kind of makes sense. I'm going to put this one here because this will activate the meta when we get it. I can do another battlefield. I'm okay with ghosts. This little This battle should be interesting. The uh, harpy skeletons. Oh, I love this guy. The taunter. Look at that. Four skellies. I wonder if that's like, if there's a max. Okay, so this one has summon quality. We would give up one of our skeletons, but uh, we're also getting evasion and regen. So there we go. We have a good level two replacement. So now we're at max of three skeletons. Uh, let me do this one. It's going to bring in more skeletons, but that's fine. Put this one there to finish that. Um, I can put this one here because it'll activate this corner meadow. Yeah, see, like, stuff like this. The lightning's really nice to have.
I think this is our last time through this ransacked village. And it'll be a big heal. But as I say, I'm starting to think like that healing really isn't that helpful with this class because it's that it's that magic HP that's free every time. Okay. Um, let's oblivion this bandit camp. We're gonna have a quest, two quests here back to back. I feel like it's we'll be fine with it. A lot of rat dogs are spawning now, starting to move tile to tile. One thing I wish it showed is like, it shows their damage and stuff, but I don't understand why it doesn't show defense. Because, like, it's clear that skeletons have higher defense, right? They take significantly less damage. Uh, and the same for our guys. Like, I would like to know that. I could do an L here. Mm, we have a fiend. The Beyond Meat fiend. Skeleton level or attack speed. Yeah, we're good. We definitely need to replace this ring. At some point. What is it giving us? It's giving us that 20% summon quality, which seems very good for a level 2 ring. Okay, I need to summon in that tank soon here. Thankfully, he changed target. We can get evasion here. It's basically the same skeleton level. Uh, evasion or regen. I'm going to take evasion. We have 0.6 regen per second, so, like, I think that's actually okay right now. I can definitely see attack speed being nice here just to get up to speed on your summon skeletons faster. Pretty big drop. Okay, so these are done. This is done. This is done. this one here because I have four slots. I really want to see how we do versus the harpy and the skeletons coming up here. That'll be a very important test. I could get that extra grove situation going here. The hungry grove. I wonder if there's anything that we can find that will give us, like, an instant skeleton spawn. Like, you know how you there's that thing where you start with the basic hunter gear? Well, that's useless for this hero, but if I could find something that gives you, like, that skeleton at the start of a fight or something, that would be pretty nice. Uh, wow. So this is a level 4 ring. That level 2 ring that we have gives us the same attack speed. Gives us... Oh, we get slightly higher summon quality here. We lose a little bit of skeleton level and defense. That's fine. Um, summon quality is 24 versus 25. We get evasion here, but it's not as good as this, so we're good. It's a pretty big... This is like a pretty big skeleton level increase. Uh, we don't we would lose 10% evasion Maybe I'll keep the evasion for this fight. It's a little sweaty looking Okay, this is a big test Jeez. It's a good evade there Yeah, see, skeletons are strong, man. Skeletons are strong. Hold up. Attack speed or max skeletons? We're not even getting to max skeletons right now. So let's take the attack speed so we can summon them faster. We have more magic HP. 
is a good day heal right there. Seems like a batch of skeletons are our nemesis, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. All right, so uh, let's see how we do against four dogs. I don't think it's going to be as bad as four skeletons, but we'll have to keep an eye on these two because they're going to spawn a lot of skellies very quick. Uh, Mountain-wise, I'm going to have to activate this one. And down here... Actually, I won't be able to put a metal there, so I'll have to activate. This will be activated. Ah, actually, all of these will be fine. We can just throw these in. Mm, I don't really want these things to drop off, so I'm trying to look for spots to place them, but... Let's go here. This is a double skeleton scenario, which is a bit concerning. Could spawn in like a. Uh... Hmm. I'll do a grove here. I won't connect it to this hungry grove. This one's giving attack speed, skeleton level, but we would lose some in quality. Let's um. Yeah, I'm starting to see the value of attack speed, but let's keep that quality up. And see, having, like, a little bit of regen is nice because we can just heal, like, underneath the protection of that magic barrier. Let's do this. Potential for ghosts. Um, I might actually just road lantern a little bit here. Just to, like, tame this a tad. All right. Pretty good chance we could summon the boss. I think. Whether we should or not, I really don't know. Uh, this improves summon quality a bit on that right side. Um, we lose 7% evasion. We lose our regen. We get a little bit of defense. So I think we just keep that level 4. Uh, attack speed's the same. Plus defense. So this is a better one for sure yeah see they they take our they take our magic hp down pretty quick on these larger faster attacking enemies like the dogs so the heals will come in nicely obviously Well, this only allows me to put one there. I could put two here, but we're going to get extra skeletons. Let's just do it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. I just took up that spot that I shouldn't have. Just road lanterning to kind of simmer the beasts a bit. And we don't lose as many cards. Okay, so we're going to go through doggy hell here. If we get lucky and summon one of our one of our taunters, that would be great. Am I max two skeletons? Oh, I'm only max two skeletons right now. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, this is a big skeleton boost, but we lose evasion. Mm, we'll see if we want to do that. I 
can't keep track of where we're at in terms of number of uh, mountains before a goblin spawns. I don't know if I want a <laughs> harpy vampire. Uh, I definitely don't want skeleton vampires. Harpy there. That's fine. I'm literally just trying to play things that... Oh, I have the rock, too. So just so we don't lose cards. And we're very close. Yeah, maybe we'll summon the... Yeah, I think we might summon the boss in this round. Kind of crazy. Uh, this could help over on this side. That's kind of neat. I've never really connected it to the other side of the loop like that. So this devours at 20%. Uh, this is pretty nice magic HP boost, but I think we'll keep that attack speed. Uh, we're a little bit under health right now, but not bad. And we're coming up to like three heals. This one's going to be our last one. So we're not even really getting the benefit of this. That ransacked village. But we needed it for like enemies anyways at the start. So it's not too bad. Okay, so we're almost up to full here. We're going to summon the boss. I don't know if it's going to go well. <laughs> Pretty confident that it... Uh, I, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I wouldn't mind having max, more max skeletons here, but like, we are going to have the Beyond Meat fight. We're going to have... Uh, couple skeletons here, three of those little zombie dudes, bunch of skeletons at this one. Uh, I might need to road lantern that actually. That looks kind of intimidating. We need to see where this dude's landing. He's with a blob, so it should be okay. We're going to have another trait as well. Yeah, it's definitely going down. These guys are getting one shot right now. Which tells me that maybe our skeleton level isn't as high as it should be. Possibly. So I'm going to give up some evasion here to really boost that skeleton level. Uh, this keeps summon quality. Loses that 0.6 regen per second if we replace our level 4 ring. Uh, but it's not a huge improvement, so we might as well just keep our 0.6. And we might as well replace the defense with some extra evasion on this ring. This class, more so than the others, I'm noticing that uh, certain, like, having the extra stuff makes a huge difference. Like having a, a higher quality ring. Ouch, bro. Okay, give me something nasty. Okay. So this is equal on everything. Basically, we lose the regen and we get uh, skeleton level. Or we just replace the one on the left, keep that small amount of regen. And it's some quality 26 versus 25, whatever. Right? Am I reading that correct? Yeah, I think so. And then here, less HP, but summon quality plus 25. Oh my god. That's a lot less magic HP, which is kind of scary, but also like the highest I'm seeing is 176. So we can even still use these if we get to the boss and it's like too intense. Um, what are we facing here? We're not facing big groups. This area, maybe. I'm just looking like, I'm thinking about how fast we're going to summon stuff in, you know? 
summon quality is pretty big, but then we got the attack speed. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just keep it. All right. Let's see what we got. It'll be fun. Or not. <laughs> Find out soon. This is a small boost to evasion, like 1%. 1% summon quality. Two defense instead of regen, and we lose four attack speed. So I don't think we change that. This one is evasion and skeleton level instead of summon quality. No, I think I'm going to leave those. What about this one? Two defense. Attack speed's the same. Or sorry, attack speed is boosted. Regen is boosted. We're losing 7% evasion and summon quality, but we get a little bit of extra skeleton level if we take it on the right. The regen is tempting. And the attack speed is tempting, but uh, I still think that summon quality feels pretty good. I'm gonna wait as long as I can to place this rock. Okay, whoa, whoa. I have another village I could place. Might as well just place it. Well, we're gonna heal now. If I place it here, it won't get ransacked. Um, maybe I want to place it up here, near uh, right before the boss. Battlefield doesn't matter anymore. I don't want to place the rocks. I don't want to spawn like an unfortunate place goblin camp. Mind you, some might have just came in. I didn't notice it. Okay, let's actually place this. Just so we can heal a bit. Here's another Grimoire. Skeleton level drops quite a bit. But you get attack speed, evasion, and defense. Eee, yikes. Thing is, if, if those skeletons are only coming in to get hit and die, then I don't think that's like serving us a huge purpose. We want those skeletons to last, so dropping that level is probably not that ideal. Oh, let's see what we got here. 10% chance to keep the card after placing his tile. Meh. 20% chance to exceed the number of skeletons and summon two of them during the last summon. Maybe. Uh, healing, we're not going to use a lot right now. Yeah, let's do this. We want things that impact us in battle, I think. Try and max out all of our meadows and stuff. I think they are maxed around our chronos currently. That was not the place to put that. Might as well just put these in. Oh, so there's the extra summon. That's cool. That worked out. I do want it. I do hope we can find a plus one skeleton, though. Somewhere. Attack speed versus summon quality and skeleton level. Oh, tempting. Very tempting, but man, our magic HP is so low. But against the boss, will that really matter? It's going to be gone almost instantly. Skeleton level in defense, 0.81. Uh, if I get rid of a little bit of summon quality, I'm at 75 right now. It's very good. I could replace the right ring with this and have a much higher skeleton level. Almost a full increase. Plus a little bit of defense never hurts. Okay. The 
This gets the summon quality back up, but we lose 1.7 levels. I think I gotta keep these levels high. These guys are in the 70 range now. That feels much better. I just need to hope we find a max skeleton drop. I think that would be incredibly helpful. A little bit of a beating there. I do have another village I can place for more healing. Look at this. Oh my god. That is disgusting. And that's right before. Right before we... Oh, what? I did not mean to place that there. Here's a max skeleton. At, but like, even lower magic HP. And slightly less summon quality. We lose a little bit of levels. I'm gonna take it. If, if we're concerned about HP, then we could use other stuff. Like this one, to get us back if we need to. So now we're looking at 50% summon quality, 5.78 skeleton level. I, I would like to get more evasion if that was a decent option here. We could drop skeleton level by 0.81. And drop a little bit of defense. We get 8% evasion, which takes us up to 15. Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. Or, even here, I could offset it even more, get 10% evasion. 10% evasion, so it takes us up to 17. Get a little bit higher skeleton level, but then we're, drop we're now doing like 75% quality. Let's just let her buck. Oh, what I should do. We should try and place this on our uh, campfire slot. I would presume that that works. And this will actually cover this group too, which could be quite helpful. Regen, summon quality. No, let's keep the max skeletons at three here at least. This is dropping skeleton level ever so slightly, but we're getting 12% evasion. That's that's a nice boost right there. Dodging one in four attacks. Uh, we'll probably get another daily. Well, yeah, we'll probably get a daily heal in. These are big fights. We're going to get double heal right here. See, I would like to put this one in, but then we lose our max skeleton. We're only getting the plus one from our amulet. <laughs> a little bit of attack speed. Yeah. More evasion. A little bit. Only little. No, we leave. We keep what we have. Nice summoning in that defender there. Oh, those evades are just kicking in hot right now. Okay, so we are fighting the boss now. I think we'll keep... Well, 
Attack speed might be the way to go against the boss, but like... It depends, because he's going to summon in that big heavy hitter, right? This is more evasion, but it's only a 3% increase. Um... I think we're good with what we have, man. We're pretty much max health. Yeah. Could you please stop? Yeah, I'm getting annoyed too, don't worry. I refuse to arms. Come on now! Hmm. Interesting. This is not going super great yet. I'm not really at the point where I'm where I'm getting in like multiple skeletons. Okay, okay. It's kind of like this domino effect, right? Like once I can get a few of them up, I don't have time to one-shot all of them. We got that big daily heal in there. Yeah, and if I get that 20% where it summons in something big at the end. Guys, there, it's down to half health right now. There's that defender. My health is dropping a bit. Does that summon of hers have like an AoE attack? Does he hit everything? I think so, yeah. He's got damage to all that sucker. Come on, guys. Keep swinging. I think we're doing it. Damn. Woohoo. That's awesome. So painful. Every time, like the first time, I still can't get used to it. Yeah, dying's not very nice. And that's how the whole world feels right now. Not a great feeling, as you noticed. Now you're... Wait, what did you mean by every time? Oh, it's not the first time. My faith, the Almighty, brings me back to life again and again for the sake of my great mission, to spread his word, to preach humility, obedience, and acceptance of the salvation he offers. And every time I fail, and there are only the dead bodies of heretics instead of conversations on my lifeless body. Why can't you understand that the wish to survive is an essential part of the world? I don't know what... how it happened, but you've made a mistake interpreting the no motives of the Almighty. Made a mistake. Me? That's impossible. I believe in it. I am the faith itself. I don't need to know or check anything. And you? What are you even trying to achieve? Nothing will ever be like it was anymore. Not even close. I don't know. Maybe it will. I can still try. You're just a fool. That's what you are. We'll meet again. Just let me rest a while. Looks like she's gone. I can hardly believe her corpse will ever come back to life. But even if it will, I should give her a proper burial. Man, that's sick. That's really cool. So we could keep going. Upon killing an enemy, hero receives one stained glass charge. Whoa. Which can protect him with 20% chance. So you're basically stealing the boss thing there. That's awesome. Postmortem toll. 30% chance to get a random basic resource chunk upon killing an enemy. I have got 25% chance that the enemies will have one ability less. Doesn't affect bosses or resource assortment we take this because we're leaving i don't even know if that gets added to here immediately or only if we keep going um but yeah we're gonna retreat here i'm happy with that welcome back is that a piece of glass sticking out of your shoulder what i didn't even notice it's not because of a high pain tolerance i'm a bit shocked to tell the truth i met a crazy preacher stained glass windows halos and angel silhouettes all around a holy jamboree you could say let me guess, we've all sinned and now we're doomed to face the holy wrath and apocalypse and only in the death shall find... Only in death shall we find salvation? Not exactly. It's more like God's decided to erase his creation. It has to be done. Show some patience. Well, that makes some sense if you give it a little thought. Who else would have the power to do such a thing? I don't know much about godhood, but I would think he'd be able to do all this instantly. Putting it simply, we'd all be dead anyway. We wouldn't even exist now. Even if the priestess is right, it's not a reason to give up. Whoa. A woo? A howl from outer space? What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, and it felt horrible, like someone coming to get me. What the frick? So chapter three. Woohoo! 
Enemies have two to three abilities. Strength plus five. Strength growth is 4% per loop. So that's double chapter one. That's kind of scary. Uh, you can carry 30 resources, but you get way more resources. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Okay, let's go back in here. Yeah, okay, I didn't have the wheat fields in. That's fine. I love the Storm Temple. I think it's really good. I think it's helped us definitely more than it hurt us. Um, yeah, and you can stack that. Like, it's pretty cool. And I think against that type of boss, like clearing out those mirrors and stuff, I think that was nice. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking this class doesn't need the wheat fields. That seemed to work pretty nicely. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else in here we could slim down. I definitely like the daily heals, the chronos. That's the best way I can think of using these. Otherwise, like, you can spawn in more stuff. More enemies, but... Oh, nice! I got the supply depot. Perfect. Now, does this matter where I place this? Let's read this. Um, unlocks a supply feature. From now on, you'll begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Unlocks the ability to craft items if you have the necessary buildings. And it unlocks the ruins card. All right, let's put this like... Oh, we don't need to get rid of a farm tile. Let's put it over here. Good news, we've come up with a list of some things we need. They, I won't say they're absolutely necessary, but they would make our lives better. We can't keep eating from the ground while the food is also the ground, and then we go to sleep on the same, you know, ground. I'm exaggerating, of course. Just want you to get the idea. If you stumble upon a good piece of furniture or an instrument or anything else of use, remember the place and take a wagon there, and we'll see that your findings go to the right person. Huh. Look at this. Sort items by inventory. Sort. Furniture, tools, food, and jewelry. I can craft now. What? What is this? Created item type or created item? Oh. Oh, like tools or food, basically. Can I swap these? What is this orb? Uh, metamorphosis and stable metal. So we could find tools or here we could find food for something. Let's try this. Jeweler's magnifying glass. Raises the chance of finding a rare item by 10%. Does that mean now that I have slots for these? Here's the ruins card. The existence of this civilization ended long before the Lich's curse, but it remains... Its remains can still be of use to you. It gives a random basic resource shard from Visit. It spawns a Scorch Worm every two days. Hmm. Maybe try Ruins instead of the Cemetery? See what a Scorch Worm is all about? The existence of the civilization ended long before the Lich's curse, but it remains still be abuse. I don't know what combos would be with this. I have no clue. Um, I also don't know where this goes, but maybe here? Available item slots. Right click. Wait, what did that say? Unequip item and place in, in inventory. Right click removes it from the slot. So, do I just have this permanently? Or, like, like am I, is this something I need to equip? I have no idea. Garlic. Plus two damage against all vampires. Smoked ham. Heals five HP at the start of each day. Meat stew. Receive additional 5 HP while passing through a village. I don't understand what this means. Sort items in inventory by this category. Oh, look at this. I think this is right. Yeah, I think we just have this now. Wow. Cool. 
I was thinking maybe it was one of these slots, but no. Okay, guys. Well, this was just awesome. This is so cool. We found a lot of cool stuff. Um, I did use a lot of my stable metals instead of the Intel Center. Uh, we use it on those tools, but that's fine. I think we only used, what, four? Five. Use five. That's fine. Um, we do have an upgrade available here. 18%. I could upgrade this. 6% to campfires, healing power. Hero can rest before fighting a boss. Oh, that's actually massive. We were just talking about that. That's so cool. Or there's this one, the healer's hut. Potion healing, plus one potion, po plus one potion refilled. That's also good, but I think healing before the boss is, is really good. Plus, this takes us up to 24% healing. Unlocks the blood grove card. I think that was from before. My kitchen keeps getting better. Here's a new recipe. Got some chicken into cubes. Fry it with soy sauce and two spoonfuls of honey. I usually add some sesame seeds, but that verges on haute cuisine. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to like make people feel bad about themselves. All right, sick. Well, uh, we're going to check out chapter three. I'm definitely going to check out chapter three with the uh, necromancer. Just, it seems super cool. And then our next big unlock is going to come from the Intel Center, I think. Um, this unlocks the encyclopedia. Now, one of my friends has actually told me that the encyclopedia tells you then how to find all these other materials. And that's how I found out about the Orb of Expansion. But I was like, how did you know what the, where the Orb of Expansion came from? He says he unlocked the encyclopedia. So that's kind of cool. Unlocks the desert and sand dune cards. Uh, we saw the sand dunes when we got from that black blob the first time we played the uh, rogue and unlocks the ability to add gold cards to the deck. Now gold cards came from, we saw that somewhere else. Arsenal golden card if the Intel Center is built. So yeah, we gotta, gotta get that big time. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes and uh, wish me luck. This was awesome. See you soon. Bye.